I'm, I'm really thirsty. Sure, you don't want to go to the mess hall and get a lemonade or something? Will you stop thinking about your stomach at a time like this? At a time like what? Don't you realize what's happening? The editing challenge was, when do you show the two shot, how much of it do you show and at what point? And so that's just sensitivity on when the best part dramatically in the scene to show the two shot as well as um, where the best performance is. So, you know, you'll see it's a combination of over shoulders into the uh, composite shot. But um, she was great in this movie. She was maybe one of the two or three best performances I've ever seen in a movie. She had to be aware of where her, where her, her eye line was, um, and she, she uh, was uh, yeah. flawless. And she loved acting. She loved doing it. And she lived to do this. But stuff. so Nancy Myers was mortified because there's one shot which, um, where she crosses over in front of her, and her eyes are just a little bit too high as she follows her. And, and I, that's when I mentioned to you, and you said, right. well, I mean, because an editor knows that you're going to follow the motion of the person. You're not going to notice those things. That's sleight of hand and editorially anyway. So you can afford those little mistakes. Right. I always contend that when you spot things like that, except for the people that specialize in that sort of thing. There are people that, you know, all over the country who can't wait to, like, pick out gaffes in movies. But for the most part, if you're bored, you're looking for anything but at anything but the movie. Right, if you're and involved. So, and that's where you pick up, you know, all kinds of things. But if you're involved in the movie, uh, it's a lot different. particular case because you had an avid you could if you hadn't had an avid and you'd done this kind of film you wouldn't have been able to oh no you you, you, know, you couldn't fake it you'd have to wait until it you know until someone put the shot so together. you really saw the benefit of right the, yeah the the avid has or, or digital editing has become a it's an amazing tool for an editor unfortunately it has a lot of uh, drawbacks in terms of uh, studio interference uh, anybody feels like they can come in and tell you or show you what you should do and uh, it's become a real uh, tool for people getting what they want just show me that you know it only takes a second one and then trying to push the director into doing the, what they want to do so while it's extremely user-friendly and and uh, you do fantastic work because you're working with all the elements at the same time it has tremendous drawbacks so uh, it hasn't necessarily sped the process up because you spend more time like uh, trying to uh, uh, appease everybody that's on the film, unless the film right out of the box is amazing, and then you don't have any problem at all. And usually with Nancy's films, right out of the box they preview really well. 